So Amber Kelly, she's known as a My Soul Wave. She is a medium. She's going to be talking about how to connect to the spirit guides today. And the singing psychic is in room number two. Amber has always felt that she's been a little different ever since she was a little girl. When she had an awakening, she realized she had this ability and finally understood why there was something that was different. She uh, was born a Sagittarius and her life path number is an 11. She's very open and honest and her words cannot explain how it makes her feel when she can help or heal people. She believes it's a sole purpose and the reason to be here on earth to connect with people in a complete different way. She uses her ability and good intention to help those in need. Every single reading is amazing and special. You can find her at mysoulwave.ca. So she's coming to us from Canada. And welcome. Great. You got your camera fixed. Great. Yes. Um, hopefully it holds up and uh, it's just not too glitchy. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, so welcome to the stage. You've got 25 you. minutes. Please share with us. Great. Sure. So I just uh, wanted to talk a little bit about spirit guides. Um, and how they work and how we all have them. We're born with our own set of spirit guides. Um, I, I remember when I was little, um, I had an imaginary friend and she, her name was Robin and she, everywhere I went, she went and that's, they say that that's who your main spirit guide is. If you remember having an imaginary friend um, when you were little, some people don't, um, or it could be, passed on loved ones. Um, it could be from way before, like loved ones that you haven't met. Um, it can be friends. Uh, yeah. And if you're going through stuff in your life, um, they'll, if you're going through something new, um, like a divorce or a new job or something, um, they'll switch off and new ones will come in and take over and help you with that um, part of your life when you need it. Um, I, I mean, spirit guides, I, they're different for everybody. Um, you can connect with them. If you, if you want to connect with yours, um, the best thing you should do is write down a word um, and don't tell anybody about it. Just keep it for you and write down a word that means a lot to you. Uh, I did, um, when I did this, I used the word dimes and I didn't tell anybody. And that was just my special word for my special reason. And I wrote down my little piece of paper and I tucked it under my pillow and, and, uh, and waited and waited for my sign. And, uh, that night I was laying in bed and watching a show and I moved my, kicked my blankets around a little bit and a quarter, some change that I guess I had in my pocket that day fell off the bed and hit the floor. And my boyfriend looked right at me in the bed. And he said, what are you throwing dimes around here? And he just screamed that word uh, in my face. <laughs> and I knew it was them. And it, it just, and I kept going with it. And uh, I, I wanted my boyfriend to try and see if, if the same, if he would, could get a sign. And, and uh, of course we're in Canada. So his word was hockey <laughs> and um, he tucked his little piece of paper under his pillow and a couple days later he was on his way home from work and the truck in front of him on the highway, uh, something happened and the bin out of the back of the truck that he had flew out of the truck, hit the highway and when it broke open it was full of hockey equipment and uh, a jersey and just everything hockey and my boyfriend had to swerve to avoid it. Um, and then he went to a store to get a, a book for his little girl. Um, she was turning four and he was in the kids section and, and reached in behind some kid book and pulled out a book and it was Wayne Gretzky, uh, all about hockey. And he, he knew that that was his sign too. Um, so it, they are there. Um, and if you want to connect with yours, that's all you have to do go to a place of love and write down a word that means a lot and ask them for a sign and, and you will get it. Um, I never realized, 
how much more there is um, than here. I believe that this is just an earth school and I hear we're, we're here to learn a few things this time around. And um, I believe that spirit guides are there to help us through each day and, and they can't control our free will, but they can guide us and sort of um, the, the intuition, that feeling if you're somewhere and, and you have that feeling in your stomach that's either good or bad, that's, that's them, uh, I think, helping you out as much as they can. I don't really know what else to say about spirit guides. I mean, I, I, my team is amazing. I have a couple, couple of spirit guides that I, I talk to a lot that are there a lot. Um, and they also kind of go hand in with archangels. Uh, Archie, Archangel Michael, I work a lot with. He's I call him in a lot for my readings um, and things, and and they, if you need help with anything that you're going through, you just ask for their help, um, and they'll always be there. Um, does anybody have any questions about spirit guides? I don't really know how I'm going to use up 25 minutes. <laughs> But I mean, we could maybe do some little readings or something or. I, I would um, think so. Yeah, you can open it up to readings and yeah. uh, do some channeled messages and whatever. Um, let them experience what you love. Um, you know, oh. it, 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 hi. Hi. It really, it really doesn't matter where you are either. Um, when spirit wants to connect, they, it, they will. And uh, you don't have to be in person. So that's the bonus of these of this online thing. I'm new to it. As you can tell, I'm kind of nervous. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, why don't we have them raise their hand? Um, yeah. Put in an emoji reaction. Uh, give me a, a thumbs up or some kind of um, emoji if you want a session with her. And then she'll just write down names. And she'll do um, a few minutes each, five minutes, a few minutes. Okay. Because uh, they're all going to want, you know, um, use your emoji in the bottom of your reaction button, everybody. So okay, she can track it. I Go to the bottom of your screen. It says reaction has a little smiley face. And you have a bunch, you have six reactions right there. Great. If you go to the right where it says more, uh, three little dots, click on that and it says more. You actually click on that and that will give you a whole list of emojis. And you can go to town. You can express yourself with emojis as she's talking. Eyeballs. Um, okay. I'm just going to kind of just do what I do and whatever comes to me, if mm -hmm. it resonates with whoever, just exactly what. So, uh, so make, so uh, make sure that we can see your emoji. So she has a list of people that wanted a session. Cause we saw Jody. Uh, we saw Nicole. I think Carolyn raised her hand. Um, Benoit, did you want a reading? Yes. Throw Benoit in there. Yes, I'm here. Okay, cool. And I'm sure uh, Trace and Annette probably would want one because they're present. I would put them on the list too. And also Lynn Graves. Okay, so you got you got enough people to do reads with, okay? Oh, sure. Thank you <laughs> very much, Sherry. Okay. <laughs> um, so how it kind of works for me is um, I, if you imagine uh, in the classroom, uh, being a teacher at the front of the classroom, and looking out to your students and there's empty desks and there's a door at the back of the room. Um, when I connect, I kind of just go there and I say, whoever wants to come in and make a connection, come through the door and have a seat in on a desk and, and connect. So that's kind of what's going on with me. And um, the first, the, the, the strongest uh, um, spirit that's trying to connect right now is actually a younger male and he's uh, about 13 or 14 and I'm not sure if he um, I, like lungs I don't know if he drowned or something 13 14 under like not 18 um, yeah and he's he's wants to thank somebody for something that's here anybody you know, young, young boys, uh, younger teenager boys. 
Anybody know a teenage boy that passed? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm asking, yeah. Okay. Not the drowned, no, not the drowned. Uh, or it doesn't, it, the lungs uh, could be you know, something medical, but uh, pneumonia maybe, or, but the lungs. Anyone know? Um, then um, the next thing that's coming is a younger female. Um, she's, she's about 25, 25, 30. And I think I'm pretty sure she was involved in a car accident. Um, and that it was kind of recent uh, within the last probably year. Year or two years. Yeah, I know someone. Okay. Um, and that she fits that age, like not quite 30, just under 30 to 25. Um, and did she pass in a car accident? When she passed, she was 19 years old. Okay, so, so how long ago did she pass? 2017, so she would have been 22, 21. Um, and when she passed, did, did she, it was pretty instant, uh, like instant at the accident, or did she go on to like in the hospital for a few days later, or was it instant? Um, I don't think it was instant. Um, I think it, it took some time before she passed away. Is like in the hospital? Yeah, I believe that she was in the hospital. And what is she, what is this person to you? Is she just a friend? So she was my best friend's best friend at the time. Okay. Um, so why, why do you think she would be coming forward for you right now? Because I've had so many dreams like with her. And I definitely feel like she is trying to communicate to me. Yeah, uh, it's it's definitely like she has something. Uh, it's something for you to figure out or to to get the message for. For some reason, it might have something to do with your best friend. That's what I'm thinking because I already feel that um, I have mediumship abilities. Have mm -hmm. I like really practiced it? I mean, I do like other like spiritual things, but. I feel like for um, her, in my best friend's life, I'm the only one with those kind of mediumship abilities. So it would make sense that she would come and try to contact me to pass on whatever message it, it is. And whenever I have dreams of her, I write down everything that she tells me. So she has given me different um, messages. But sometimes, since I'm kind of, you know, new to this, sometimes I wonder, is this just my conscious brain kind of synchronizing things? Or is this her legitimately in spirit? giving me messages you know Definitely. if you feel in your heart if that is what it is that's what it is and uh we, we all have the ability to do this it's just some are born you know some are better piano players uh, some are better basketball players same thing with this there's some are just it just they know can, can can connect better i guess i don't know um but everything happens for a reason and everybody is you know, we're all here in this room for a reason <laughs> and talking. And I think <clears throat> she's, if this is for you, I think she definitely is trying to get some sort of message to you. I'm not sure uh, if it's like, you know, urgent, you know, if you should be worried about it, but something's going on there for sure. Um, she's trying to make the connection. Uh, is your friend, is her health, is something up with your, your best friend's health? Um, in terms of physical, I'm not sure, but I know that she's, you know, in therapy right now, kind of, she's in her lot in her life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well that, that, I think that that's maybe why maybe she's just saying if maybe call her, call her more or maybe make a special trip to visit her or something, you know, like she needs you right now, maybe. Um, and also I think my best friend is still grieving a lot over oh, the loss of for sure. Know, yeah for sure you know and that's and maybe this is what it is just just kind of reminding you to to be be there for her a little more if you haven't been 
Um, I hate to kind of go off topic, but this boy, uh, teenage boy, is we we're, we're, we have to figure this out because <laughs> he's here, and um, I just I don't know if anybody knows can think of anything or put anything together. Um, he doesn't necessarily have to be 13, but you know, he's a teenager boy and he really wants to thank somebody for something here. Uh, I think it has something to do with when he passed something he wants to, to, and he's, he's here. That's for sure. <laughs> um, it's still, if nobody, maybe whoever this is, hasn't come in this room yet. I don't know. Um, if anybody <clears throat> thinks of anything, please let me know. Well, I've had a teenager boy who died, but he was in a car accident that died instantly. Okay. Was like how he was crushed or like his lungs? Um, well, well, I don't know exactly what caused him to die. He crashed into a tree and I guess it was his head and I don't know what else. Well, it's, it's like the, his lungs filled with like fluid or water or something, yeah. but, or blood. Yeah, that could be, I mean, that I don't know, be. I don't know exactly, like, I just know that the impact. And, and how old was he? He was um, 18, maybe 17 when it happened. Too old? Yeah, yeah, this, this, uh, this male is not quite that old. Just, um, he was in my life. He was that age. That's why. I know. Okay. I mean, it, 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 um, if I, you know, when I kind of go for a name, I'm seeing like Chris, Christopher, oh, Christopher. No. No? no, that doesn't have to be the boy. That could be anyone. Does anybody relate with Christopher, a Chris, it could be even a female with the name Chris mm. or Chrissy. You're saying that the, the name Christopher is coming up for you. Yeah. Um, is it, does it have to be related to the accident or is this not at all? Not see, there's so many of us in this room. So this is kind of where it gets a little bit like I'm trying my best here, <laughs> but, yeah. um, it could be connected. It doesn't have to be, if, if the name resonates, we can yeah. talk and see if, so I, Christopher is what team, sorry. I asked because, um, I just recently, Chris keeps coming up today in every room I go to, I swear. Um, but I just recently got out of a, I guess, situation to ship with a guy, Chris. And um, all the all the signals that I'm getting today is to leave him alone. Did, not- you, did you call him Christopher? Like, do most people call him Chris, but did you call him Christopher? I would call him both. It would just depend. Yeah. Because it's he, it's like he, it's the name Chris Christopher is kind of, um, and this so, um, yeah, I'm I'm not too sure because this the person you're talking about is still here, right? Like still alive. Yes. Yeah. So I'm not sure if uh, that's um, this if this is him. But I mean, if you're hearing the name and you've heard it all today you should probably take that as a pretty good um sign that yeah that if it's if you feel you need to stay away from him and you keep hearing his name then definitely um do what you have to do and follow that that intuition that gut feeling you know you know when you meet somebody for the first time you know right within three minutes if if they're good or if they're they have a different um you know aura with them <laughs> and if 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 you're getting the sign to stay away from him, then definitely do that. Are you able to tell me what spirit guides are looking over me and helping me through my healing process? Um, well, I think, like I said, when, when we're born, we were all born with a set of spirit guides. It could, some have six, some have eight, some have three. Um, I think if you're going through something in, in your healing and and you're, if you're calling them in and want them there, then yes, they very, very much are there, but they won't be there unless you ask, you know, you have to, you have to ask for a sign and then they'll be there more and, and help you more. Don't be afraid to ask for their help. Yeah, I was doing a process this week and, um, and uh, through the 
hypnosis, um, uh, Gabe, Gabriel came up and, okay. and, yeah. um, and then Michael came up as well. Yeah, those and, two, I find those two are usually uh, hand in hand. Um, you know, when you see one, you kind of see the other. <laughs> uh, and if the, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so they were like, they're protecting me and, and I was trying to get rid of some trauma and they, you know, had the sword and they, and they were slicing through all the crap that, you know, the emotional stuff that I had been onto, they were yeah. there protecting me and assisting me to move through it. So I was just curious, you know, who I could ask for because um, I know I was, I was, a, I was an Indian medicine woman in a past life and I'm trying wow. to heal that karma and I'm like, who do I call on? You know, I think you need to call Gabriel and Michael. <laughs> it sounds like yeah. they are, uh, they're definitely, if that's who you feel, then um, it's funny that you mentioned past life. Uh, I, that's kind of, I don't like it. Sherry had mentioned, I, I've always felt different and stuff growing up. I've always was a little bit of a loner, um, you know, and um Past, I went to a past life regression therapy a hypnosis session um, about two years ago, two and a half years ago, that my mom had booked me to go to quit smoking. Hypnosis, I didn't knew nothing of it. And I went in there and oh my gosh, that day uh, I, I went back and I went to some past lives of my own. And that's when everything really opened up for me it was after that uh, session with that lady. Um, weird things started to happen for me. I uh, started seeing triple digits, you know, 11, 11 everywhere. Uh, I was standing one day, me and my boyfriend were in the living room and the microwave turned on in the kitchen, just turned on. So I went to turn it off. And when I stopped it, it stopped at two, two, two. <laughs> so of course I get on Google and spiritual meaning of two, 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 and it's there. Like it, it, it matched my life. It matched, you know, if you ever see it, digits to numbers it could be three four five if you see that definitely look up on your phone right then and there like spiritual meaning of the number and what you see and read and it will resonate uh they definitely spirit guides definitely work that way too mm. um, or through psalm um Um, okay, so then let's move on, I guess. The next uh, thing um, I'd like to talk about, um, is Sherry still in here? Yes, she is. Um, yes, I'm here. I, I think your mom is actually trying to come and say hi. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and uh, I, can't, I can't just let that uh, go. And she, she wants to say hi anyway. <laughs> What's she saying? She, she just, she seems like that, you know, nothing too serious, just that she wants you to know she's there. Like, and I'm sure you do, you do know she's there. <laughs> and uh, she just is saying hi. That she's with me. She's happy yes, I'm doing this. She is. She is she's listening you. to the event. And I'm sure, and I know that you know <laughs> that she is with you. <laughs> um, I know she's an angel with me. Um, okay, so there's uh, a few stuff going, different things going on, but if I was to pick one out of the crowd, there's um, a male, a younger male. I don't know if he's someone's brother, somebody who's a brother. Um, and I'm not really sure how he passed. Brother or a best buddy. I'd say this guy's probably like in his 30s younger guy uh, and he showed me like a boating accident or some sort of boating accident boat nothing <laughs> you guys make it hard for me <laughs> <laughs> I mean I can't force what what's there and I, I can't help that so um is there somebody here that uh, is trying to have a baby, trying to get pregnant?
like taking things, trying to get pregnant, like with like the lab, the lab people, like, you know, however they do that. Um, if, if like if one person can't have kids, yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Somebody who's taking the time and effort to do to try and have a baby. Um, well we need to wrap it up yeah and i just i i'm gonna ask again no uh boy young boy okay nobody resonates with that if anybody thinks of it like i said please uh connect with me or email me or or uh whatever to get a hold of me so i can talk to you about that <laughs> You can also follow her to her room. Um, Amber, uh, what room are you in? You don't have Thank your... you for listening to me. Number 333. <laughs> let me put that on there. Uh, rename. Let me put your room number 333. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. I know you're a little nervous, but I know. You got, you got out of your one. way. Yes. <laughs> at least you conquered your challenges and uh, you let your, you know, just let the guides take over as you're telling us. Yeah. That's exactly so, um, and thank so, you. Um, I believe you're going to uh, get offer a session um, to anybody. Yeah. Um, so put um, put in the chat a number from zero to a hundred. If you would like a session with her to win a prize, and Amber, you're going to write it down on a piece of paper. A number. Don't look at the don't look at the chat. Randomly, just write a number. We've got a lot of numbers coming up. Right now we have uh, Roy, the singing psychic, in uh, the the fun room in room number one until nine o'clock, and then we have Carol Alio Hala Ramsey gonna, is going to be doing a seventy uh, Venetian a seventy technique called the four point four Venetian recalibration. That's at nine o'clock, and in this room we have uh, Elmi and Riley from South Africa, um, who's going to be talking about ways to access the healing power of the subconscious mind. And she's a rapid transformational coach. Okay, so Amber, are you ready? So I'm going to do a five, four, three, two, one, and uh, we're, that will be all the numbers for a session, and that way you guys have a private with her. Okay, so Amber, five, four, three, two, and one. What is your number? Twenty nine. Yes. Carolyn Paradiso at twenty eight. Yeah, I definitely feel like me and you need to talk more anyways so i'm kind of glad for that and if anybody else wants to connect you know where to find me okay where are we so going you're going to go to follow her to um, room 333 three, three and exchange information so you can book your session uh in a different time unless okay. you wanted to do it today okay um but there's not a lot of time left so carolyn congratulations with your session thank you with amber so it was meant to be yes